Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, this is actually going to be the last episode in this season because I think we've done quite a lot. I think we've done quite a lot. So we're going to get into what this episode is going to consist of in a sec. But first, the next season I am going to be doing is it's going to be Iron Teeth. It's going to be fully modded and the challenges we're going to hit the max possible population cap we can ever hit so i'm looking for over 2000 maybe 2500 and even if i hit 2000 i want to keep going until my computer just literally tanks <laughs> until my frame rate is destroyed but so what are we going to do in this episode all right so we've got a few things left we have to make um books and that's the last thing we need to make we need to move all beavers, all and every single beaver, over to Vacation Island. We need to unpause all the houses, get this place popping. And we need to provide robots or golems to every other district as much as possible. So we're going to just see how much uh, we can sustain, how much population we can sustain with golems and beavers. And just, just ride it all the way to the end and see how it works out. So first of all, books. Now let's take a look at what we need for books. So we have paper, so that's absolutely fine. And we have this building here. Now this is gonna need power. Our power is doing okay, as you can see. We do use some, but it does normally come back up when it's needed. So that's not too bad. Now, where can we make a nice little bookstore? or book production area. Okay, so what I have decided where I'm going to put the books is over here because we can connect power to them quite easily. And if we just do something like that, that will give us four places for these books. Now, I don't know how I'm going to connect power to these ones just yet. I could take it from here, but I think this is absolutely fine. So if we get this bad boy going like that and like that do we really need four books though <laughs> i think we'll do that i think i'll figure out a way to get the power over there i could actually destroy this one that could actually be a thing so we don't actually need that there we can have this like this and then let's go down liz so if we destroy this right now, I don't think I really need anything there. So that's fine. We can go like that. And then like that. That. Spung that right there, right there, and right there. Excellent. And that should provide power for these four buildings. Now we do need to turn them to robots or golems I always call them robots excellent all right so then we just need to figure out this area here whoops that's a bit too much and i think at the end of this we'll do a summary of all the districts we've got going on because why not And then we need to bring this one out here. And I think we can put a fence in over here like this. We'll leave that bit empty so we can actually do some constructing. And then we'll go like that. We'll go like this. And hopefully they can build from up here, but I'm not sure if they will be able to. Because then we can just go like this and then in there like that. We do need to get rid of these trees. <laughs> oh man, the things we go through just for uniformity. Is that even a word? Okay, so there you have it. It's all nicely capped off. It looks like it's a separate district now. I'm happy. So what we got to do next? 
now that we've got pretty much everything made, we've got these books going in. We've actually got our first few books down here. Look at this, look at this storage area. Ain't it crazy <laughs> how much resources we've got. But yeah, we've got our first books. We've got 21 books, that's amazing. So we need to simplify what this place actually does. So it doesn't need to send logs to Vacation Island, does it? There's nothing here that uses logs. We can stop sending maple uh, syrup because our maple syrup is doing just fine. Look at that. We've got tons of maple syrup. Let's just take a look. We've got nearly 3k of maple syrup. So we don't need to send maple syrup over there anymore. Do we need to send wood to the farm? We don't because we have our own wood production here, which is absolutely fine. We've got 1,800 logs. We are living large. So we can actually get rid of that. So the only thing they need to provide is metal gears and planks to this area. Now, I want to sort of clear this up a bit. Why have we got maple syrup? Maple syrup for here. We don't have anyone making catalysts. That's fine. Now, they could make their own stuff, but do we really need that? They've got paper there for some reason. I wish I could just empty it, you know, and just get rid of that paper because it's just taking up space. Now I could delete it and then redo it, but that's just long. We've also got carrots here that I don't think we need. We're using potatoes there. Yeah, so I feel like that is just a waste of space. And I haven't got a distribution post to send it somewhere else. So I think the main, the thing I need to do is literally just delete it. And then get the biofuel and the metal blocks back. We need to see how many jobs are needed here. We also need to maybe do another three of these. I, I don't know if you add extra, if it actually sends more. So I've added extra over there. Hopefully that should be fine. I can actually well, I shouldn't really increase the limit because it might fill up this. I should have built a certain amount of storage here. We'll remember that for next time. <laughs> we'll remember that for next time. So how many jobs do I actually need here? So at the moment, we've got 64 workers and eight vacancies. So that means if I put all of these on, because we want to turn everything on, which is going to be a bit crazy because our power is going to drain. So with everything on, apart from terraforming and dirt extraction, we have another nine vacancies. So we need 74 beavers and I would say 75 just in case. Now, actually, I haven't turned these to robots. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay, looking at that again, it is completely different. <laughs> we need exactly a hundred bots here so let's uh let's change that to a hundred and let's put a hundred and two just to make sure we have time just in case robots die and we have time to transfer them over so that we've taken off automatic emigration and we've allowed automatic immigration so that stops them from leaving the place but it brings them here automatically now with uh beavers we don't need any there's one vacancy. What is the vacant place for a beaver? I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure I'll find, find it at some point. That, that's fine. I, it doesn't matter so much. I don't believe. Yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out later on. So that's a hundred. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a hell of a lot. For this place now, if we just start up um, this whole side section here, let's see how many actual beavers we need. 
So let's go into this. And we also need a lot more workers here just to make sure things get around. So, Botropolis. We need to turn all of these into robots. So we at least need another 17 more. So that's like 29. So let's put 30 here. And hopefully, so we're not going to take robots from anywhere else because they're going to be producing their own robots. But hopefully we can get a lot going and they can build up to that number quite easily. Hopefully it's more of like an exponential thing. The more robots I get, the faster I produce them and all that jazz. So now, it's the next place. <laughs> let's look down here. I want to move all my beavers. Let's take a look at jobs at the moment. So we've got 53 workers. Wow. Wow, that's all of this stuff, isn't it? That's a lot. <laughs> this place is heavy on workers. Like, we need a lot. Okay. So there's 10 in here. This I don't really care about. Um, we've got 16 here. So that's already 26 doing these. I don't need builders. That's okay. We can actually turn these into bots. And I don't think we need this one up yet. So I'm going to put that down for now. How many spare robots do I have? I have none. I have 24 spare workers and 44 workers. So let's calculate where they are. Okay, so yeah, I've counted all of it is here really. So we need an extra, at least an extra 50 robots. So let's put, let's put 80 here. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> that is a hell of a lot. And we're not gonna allow them to leave once they're there. Oh man. That is crazy. So once we get 80 in there, once we get all this place filled up, we're going to then send all the beavers over to there. Now let's take a look at our last district here. We have 16 workers and zero vacancy. Now is everything running with the amount of robots we need? Okay. Okay. So this one runs perfectly. Do you have any spare? You don't have any spares. That's fine. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. We All we need to do now is wait for us to produce a lot more robots. And then we should be doing pretty fine. We should be able to get robots everywhere. I am worried about the biofuel, but hopefully it's not too much of an issue. If we need them to produce biofuel in their own districts as well, we do have something there and I can put one over here somewhere. So that's not too much of an issue. So I am just going to let them uh, get on with it. And then we'll do a colony summary at the end. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. And they have been busy. <laughs> they have been busy. Now let's just check how many beavers we've got of, and robots in this whole area. So we've got around so 90 beavers and 192 bots. So that's what, 282. That's crazy, that is crazy. And now the only problem I've run into is look at my power. <laughs> look at that. That is slowly depleting into nothingness. We actually cannot put all of this on and have all of this running and things in here running. It's just the power consumption is just too massive but we tried and you know what i'm absolutely happy with how it turned out it was all a learning curve and next time we would need to have a lot more power and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in our next season when we try and just break the game via population so we are going to need a lot of power we're going to need a lot of beavers a lot of robots and it's going to be absolute be crazy also it's going to be fully modded so if you have any uh suggestions for mods 
send them over to me. I may just use them. Okay, so our first district is the biggest district. It is Vacation Island. Look at this bad boy. Now we have nice little play area for the kids. A seating area. Look, we've even got some beavers sitting there right now. And I actually believe that's children. We've got a nice few food stands with all the lovely stuff. We've got beavers enjoying life as you do. And then we've got our pool area. Look at all the happy beavers. Now this is what you call vacation island. They can go camping, they can pray to beaver gods and they can look at the stars. And let's get that moving, look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Then you've got the nice little hotel area here with some rooftop terraces. I think that looks absolutely amazing. And now let's check morale. Now I think we hit everything, yep. We got books. We've got a few scarecrows and a few roofs that could always be added on. We don't have enough shelter apparently, but I've got 93 beds. <laughs> so we should have enough. We've hit 41 well-being. I think that's the highest I've ever hit. So that is Vacation Island. And the total population of this place at the moment is 99 beavers and one robot. So exactly 100 at the moment. Look, I ran out of power. Just as we're finishing, I ran out of power. Then we have the farm. The farm that produces all the food and all the maple syrup that you can ever need. Look at all that storage. Ain't that just amazing? We've got two distribution centers and enough water pumps to last you a lifetime. There you have it. And how many? We've only got seven beavers here. We shouldn't really need that. That should actually go up. But yeah, we've got seven beavers here and we've got 65 or 64 robots sorting this place out, making sure everyone is fed, making sure everyone is happy. Let's move on over now to the chem lab. Look at this place. This place provides all the robots what they need to survive. We could have, I would have preferred to make a better production for Catalyst. Um, but it is what it is. We did okay with that. But we've got a ton of biofuel and I think that looks amazing. Then we've got Clockwork City. Look at this place. This is a production chain dream. They have everything here. You need it, they've got it. They'll be giving you cogs, planks, books, metal, whatever you need, even dirt. We're even able to give you dirt. <laughs> so anything you need, you come here, we've got it. There's hundreds of trees here and they're all getting used. Look at that. That is what, how much we actually need at this point. We're using so much wood just to run all of this and run our bot factory. It's absolutely crazy. Irrigated at every point we can to make sure everything stays green. And last but not least, we've got Bottropolis, our lovely robot area that makes all the bots we can ever need. Admittedly, we could have had more power and that would have made this place a lot more functional. We are producing a fair amount of robot parts. So if I could start up some of the assembly chain a bit more, they would be, there would be a lot more robots. That would be absolutely amazing. But alas, we don't have enough power to run this whole place. And I really like this house in design. It looks neat, even though we don't use the houses. It looks pretty cool. And that is it. That is the Thunderdome. I believe that's what this is called. I cannot remember what we saved this map as. But yeah, that is crazy, don't you think? So guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this epic series and I'm really excited to play the next one, get my teeth stuck into the iron teeth or the iron teeth and get a fully modded series going through. So I hope to see you on the next one. Hope you have an amazing day. Peace.